So I was out working around my yard the other day and it was time to put away the extension cord and I have a device I use for cinching the extension cord up and as I was looking at it I thought I wonder if this has any uses for out in the woods and I think it does. It's a ball bungee. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on what a ball bungee can be used for out in the woods keep watching. So yeah ball bungees. I've been using them for a while around the house for small jobs like cinching up the extension cords, a garden hose, anything like that that you want something that's easy to apply and easy to take off and uh, when I was looking at it I said you know I really think this could be something useful for out in the woods. So I started playing with them and I came up with a couple of uses that I want to share with you. By no means an extensive list. In fact, I'll invite you at the end of this video, if you have suggestions beyond what I've already shown, you're welcome to share them with me and we can all benefit from them. So what is a ball bungee? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. On one end you have, in this case, a plastic ball. And then you have a loop of bungee cord. And that's what it is, is a loop of bungee cord because it's knotted, as you can see here, and it slides inside of the hole on the end of the ball bungee. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. Now I'll show you in a minute but what it's used for. But first I just want to show you where I got these ones. And uh, this will explain why I'm using them. I picked up a package of these at our local dollar store, Dollarama. I'm going to see if I can focus in on the price. Eight of these on this card for $3. You really can't beat that. It was one of those things that I thought, okay, I've just got to try them out to see if they have any value. And as I mentioned, they sure do. But this one is not a high quality one. I'll tell you that right now. The the bungee or the shock cord on it is doesn't have a whole lot of tension on it. It's sufficient for what I was using it for, like cinching up the garden hose and the extension cords. But not something that if you really need to have a tight attachment this is probably not the best ones for it but I've got an answer for that in a minute. Uh, the other thing I discovered about them is that they're adjustable in length as I mentioned all they are is a knot on one end well if you want to make it shorter like that you just tie a knot further down the rope and you've got a shorter one. Most of the time that's not necessary because I can wrap it around twice if I need to. So how does a ball bungee work? Very quick before I do a demonstration is you just wrap it around whatever it is you need to cinch up you have a loop on one end and it just wraps over the ball and that's it, right? That's not much to that at all. It's a, best way to think of it is a, a reusable zip tie. One that you can put on and off very, very easily. No special knots required. Now, I'm not saying that this replaces rope and knots that you use out in the wood, but you know what? There's no skill involved in this. There's no practice learning your knots and it's just so easy to apply and take off that I think these definitely have a place out here. But uh, okay, I have a couple of others and because uh, I thought about this afterwards, I took one of the ball bungees and I replaced it with a different type of shock cord, something that I bought at one of our local hardware stores. This has a lot of tension on it. And again, you can buy them and, you know, you put the ones you want, either replace the ones from the dollar store, like that, of course, or you can make your own. So what about making your own? Well, I have a couple that I made here from items out here in the wood. So here's one. I cut a stick, cut a, well, about a one inch, maybe a little bit more in diameter cut off a length of it and drilled a hole through it and uh, now I've got one I made from a piece of wood in the woods. Another one, a toggle. So just another little branch off of a tree and some of that heavier duty shock cord. So you can make these out in the woods. All you have to do is get some shock cord like that, some sticks, make some buttons or toggles and uh, you can make your own. You don't have to buy them. The round ones have a very specific use that these ones don't work as well for it, but I'll get to that in a few minutes. All right, that's all a ball bungee is. Uh, let me show you two demonstrations for it. All right, be, the obvious one for using a ball bungee like this is for cinching things up. As I mentioned at home, I use it for garden hoses and uh, power cords or extension cords. Uh, out in the woods, you could use it for a blanket. If you have a wool blanket you want to keep wrapped up and don't want to create a, a rope with knots on it, which is works. I, I don't disagree. It's just look how much easier this is going to be. How about attaching something to your backpack? Now, this will work Virtually, I think every backpack that I have at home, I tried this on and it will work. You just have to be a little creative in how you're going to attach it to your backpack. If you have something that has molly or a pals webbing, well, then you're, you're made in the shade, so to speak. No worries about finding a place to attach it. Uh, this bag that I'm using today is my good old Franken-Pack that I have shown in other videos. It's the uh, Australian 
not Australian, Austrian Alice pack that I got from Verustalika and an old aluminum backpack frame that I attached it to. I still like carrying this thing a lot. This is probably my premier backpack. But now it does have some additional straps for attaching things to. So it's not like I have to use these for, for doing this, but it does add for the demonstration. What I want you to do is just kind of ignore this, okay? The flap that goes over the top of the pack does have straps that go over the top and I can run things through those straps, but let's just pretend for a minute they don't exist. But I do have a frame, something I can attach things to. So I'm going to be attaching a tarp to the top of it. You know, this is not a bad or, you know, it can fairly realistic. This is a big tarp, by the way. It's one I'm testing for a later review. Um, but I want to attach this to the top of the frame. One, it doesn't take up any space inside of my bag. Two, it's quick deploy. So now it's on the top of my pack. I can just drop the pack, take this off of the top and get it set up if the weather turns on me. So in order to attach it to the pack, take my ball bungees, feed them through the frame two of them I'm doing right now. Grab what it is I'm attaching, in this case the tarp. Reach back under, grab the, the cord. There's one on. And there's two on. Nice and secure. Of course, the better the quality of the shock cord the, and the more stretch you give it, or, you know, more stretch, I guess, the more secure it's going to be. But it's there secure and it's easy, ready for quick deploy. If I really have to get it off in a hurry, it's just undo the two loops of bungee and you're good to go. All right, now what I'm going to do is set this tarp up because I want to show you how you can use the ball bungees with a tarp. All right, in order to keep this video just a little bit short, I'm going to only show one method of using a ball bungee to attach a guy line to a tarp. So we're going to assume a couple of things here. First off, you can see I've got my finger through the tie out on the corner of this tarp. So we're going to pretend that this doesn't exist. This guy line doesn't exist, which I'd normally use. And that could be for a couple of reasons. One, the point on the tarp where I want to attach the ball bungee, uh, or the guy line I should say, doesn't exist. It was never there. Or in another case, it could be that it ripped off and you now need to improvise something at the corner of your tarp in order to attach a guy line to it. Well, this is where the shape of the ball bungee comes in so well. I know most of you will know the trick where you take a pine cone or something and you wrap a cord around it inside and you're searching and searching and you're looking and you find little rocks, but you you don't want to use the rocks because they have sharp edges. You don't want to risk poking that through the edge of the tarp. Well, look at that. Perfect shape for doing this with, right? Okay, so what I've done to prep this is I've taken the ball bungee and I've attached it to the guy line using a Prusik knock, which was just to wrap it through its own loop. Now, I'll tell you in practice, this is not as easy as it sounds. And the reason is, is the cord wants to unwrap. It's the nature of the shock cord. It just wants to unwrap. The other thing I not noticed is that I actually had to, instead of twice around the guy line, I had to do it three times around in order to get that uh, locking n nature, because it just seems to want to um, spring and open and slide a little bit. So it just is something you're going to have to play with if you want to use it this way. So I've got my ball. I'm going to shove it up inside of the material of the tarp. Now, I'm going to create a slip knot. Now, there's a couple of things, ways you could do this. I'm going to use a slip knot just for make this easy because I'm trying to tie with one hand. The ideal knot for doing this, regardless if you're using a ball bungee or anything else, would be a taut line hitch because it's not going to slide loose on you. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to use a slip knot over the top and we'll tighten that up. And effectively, my guy line is now attached to the uh, tarp, and I have it attached to a tree with a taut line hitch. But what I want to show you is take the ball bungee and stretch it out along the line. Kind of like this. Now, can you see what's happened? I've created a shock absorber right here. So this is the other benefit of using a ball bungee as a means of attaching a line or a guy line to a tarp. Not only do I have the perfect shape for wrapping up and without having any concerns about ruining or hurting or cutting the tarp, but I've also got a shock absorber. So what happens is as the wind picks up and the you know tarp moves in the wind, the 
shock cord is going to act as a shock absorber. The other thing, of course, is we've all experienced this as well, is if it's a nylon tarp, and I'm, in this case I'm using paracord, which is nylon, when it gets wet, it stretches. And it, that's just the nature of nylon, right? So what will happen is if you bring this to full tautness, as the nylon stretches, the line should, well, if you do it properly, of course, should remain very taut because all that will happen as the line stretches is that the bungee will start retracting towards its attachment point. So let me just go over to the tree where I have the taut line hitch attached and I will bring some tension to this guy line. All right. Look at that, okay? Perfect attachment right there and better than, big than uh, just a regular guy line because I've got the shock absorbing nature of the shock cord there. All right, that's two ways of using a ball bungee out here in the woods. Let's wrap this video up. All right, I hope you found this video helpful, interesting, and maybe even a little bit of fun. How you can turn something that's usually used around the home for something you can use out in the woods, a ball bungee. Now, I only showed you two methods of using it, or two demonstrations, one for attaching, what well, in this case it was my uh, tarp, all still in its bag, to the top of the backpack. It was simple and very, very effective. And the other one is something that hopefully you'll never have to do, but you never know when that can happen. That is attaching a guy line to a tarp. Presumably, uh, the guy line tie out if it was in a corner was ripped out like it often does with poly tarps and their grommets or it didn't have one like maybe you're in the center of your tarp and you want to create a point at which you can pull the tarp upwards or outwards if it's a plow point you know different tarp configurations that you may want another tie out that didn't come installed on the tarp that's where these ball bungees really have an interesting application not only do you have the perfect shape for doing that but you have the added benefit of having that shock absorber which will help keep any accidental pullouts of the corners from uh, winds or stretching too far if it gets wet. So that's not a bad way of using these things. Now, I also showed you at the beginning two other homemade ones. This is some shock cord I had and a little toggle attached to two. You just kind of wrap it around the toggle and it works well. Now this is small, but I intentionally made it that way for small applications. The other one is a button made off out of a, a piece of a stick. Same thing, reach it over the top and you're good to go. So a couple of different ways. You can buy them commercially or you can make them yourself. By the way, I the ones I showed, I use, or I purchased, I should say, at Dollarama, our dollar store locally. But I looked on Amazon and they're not all that expensive and I expect they're probably much better quality than the ones that you can find at the dollar store. You might, if you have a dollar store that sells them, buy them, try them out. But if you want to upgrade in some quality ones that have better shock cord, then maybe go to Amazon and uh, just see what you can find there. Ball bungees, that's what you're going to search for. All right, as I mentioned, just two uses today. But what I want to do is open it up and give you, if you have any suggestions, give you the opportunity to provide suggestions on how you might use ball bungees out here in the woods. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.